What you see in the background here is Cloud3 fighting OpenAI in Street Fighter. So today I'm gonna show you how you can set up this super fun open source project yourself. We're also gonna do a local 7B model tournament between Meta, Google, Mistral and Quen. So that's gonna be interesting. We're gonna take a look at different strategies, different models, open source versus closed source and what we can learn from this. So let's just get started. Okay, so the first part of this video is gonna be how you can actually install these two. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step how you can do this. If you only want to watch the tournament and the results and kind of what I figure out by using this, uh, I'm gonna leave a timestamp so you can just skip ahead if you don't want to install and try this out for yourself. So just go ahead and do that. But if you want to install it, just stay here and yeah, let's uh, see how we can do this. So the project is called LLM Colosseum, so this is the open source project, so of course I'm gonna leave a link in the description to this, because uh, yeah, you kinda need that, so the point is to evaluate large language models in real time with Street Fighter 3, so it's a lot of fun, so they kinda have set their criteria here, so the model needs to be fast, smart, a good fighter that thinks 50 moves ahead, out of the box thinking, adaptable and resilient, so that's pretty cool. And I have some examples here you can follow, uh, but we are gonna focus on kind of how we install this. Uh, you can go and read explanation here if you want to. It's pretty cool, uh, but I'm not gonna spend time on that. So what we want to do here is that we are using some kind of uh, game, Street Fighter of course, so we're gonna download some uh, ROM, but we're gonna use something called Diambra. I'm gonna open that now and kind of show you, so we're gonna follow these instructions here. Okay, so we'd open this up. You can kind of see we get into this uh, docs from the Umbra. Here you can kind of see the list of games they support. Street Fighter, Tekken, Mortal Kombat 3. We're going to focus on Street Fighter, right? The first thing you need to do in is install Docker Desktop. You can choose Linux, Windows and Mac OS, so just do that. And the next thing we need to do is install uh, the Umbra from the command line interface. So I'm just going to copy this here. Uh, one thing, I am on Windows now, but uh, I found it easier to run this in kind of Linux for me, so I'm using this VSL, so this is uh, Linux on Windows, so you can just install VSL, and then you can kind of run Linux on Windows, right? So that's what I'm gonna do, so we are on Linux here, and I'm gonna do Python 3 pip install uh, Diambra, right? So that, I've already done that, so that's okay. Next step is gonna be to install Diambra Arena. So we're just gonna copy this command here and we're gonna install Diambra Arena. Okay, good. Okay, now we can just check if this works. So let's copy this command here to kind of list the ROMs they support. So let's just do that. And here you can kind of see we have Tekken Tag Tournament, Street Fighter 3, and here you can kind of see the game ID. And yeah, you see some keywords, a character list, and yeah, that is kind of what we want to see. So that's good. Next, we need to download actually the Street Fighter ROM. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. Uh, just follow the link in the description and you will get to this page here. So this is Street Fighter th Third Strike. And just click on the download button here and then you will download the ROM in a, to a zip file, right? And if we go back to the GitHub here, you can see we want to download the ROM and we want to put it in a folder called dotdiambra slash ROMs, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So if you are here, you can just do like a... Uh, yeah, let's go to your directory. So you see, you can't see it here, but you just want to do like an... Uh, mkdir and just call it dot diambra, right? Okay, so just do that. I have already done that, so that's fine. Uh, but if you do it like ls, you can't see it, so we have to do ls dot la, right? And here you can kind of see the diambra here, so we can do cd dot, uh, let me see, diambra, right? And you can ls, and here you can see we have something called roms. So let's do that, and if we list this, you can see this is the file you want to put in here. So this is the file you downloaded, so it's sf3 strike, yeah, something like that. And when you have all that done, you are actually ready to go. So yeah, let's just move on to the next step. Okay, so now I kind of want to clone the repository here. So what I like to do is, uh, I'm just going to make a directory now. So let's do mkdir, let's just call it llm test, right, okay. And let's just do cd llm test and then we're gonna do git clone and then we're gonna do this right okay so let's clone that okay good now let's go into that directory right so let's just go into this 
good. Let's look at the list. So I think we can just do make install, right? To kind of install the dependencies we need. So let's try that. So yeah, you can see that works. I already done this, so that's fine for me. But if we do, uh, if you have, when you have done that, you kind of want to create this .env file and fill it with contents like in this .env example file. So I'm going to show you uh, how you can do that. So if we just go, let's say, no, no, this, right? You can kind of see what we want to do here is kind of set in this .env file. We want to set our, uh, let's say, Mistral API key. I have the Anthropic API key, OpenAI key. So basically, this is just a .env file, right? And yeah, just set your uh, API keys here and change it to .env. Just remove the example part, I guess. And when you've done that, you we are almost ready to go. There's also one more thing you have to do. You have to go to theumbra.ai and kind of create a free account. Because when we run this, you the first time you run it, you have to log into that account. So yeah, just go ahead and create your account here and you should be ready to go. Okay, so let's try this now. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I have done some changes to this open source project. I have kind of updated it to kind of take in two different uh, call LLMs. So I can actually use, uh, I added this call LLM2 function so I can use Claude 3. And you can see here the models we have selected now is GPT 3.5 Turbo and Claude Haiku. So it's going to be a fight between Sam Altman and Dario from Anthropic. So yeah, let's just run this and kind of see how this works now. So what I found so interesting about this is that you can set the system prompt. So for the first run now, we are just going to use the exact same prompt for both models. Uh, but I have been experimenting with this kind of different strategies. So here we have an extreme defensive game plan an adaptive game plan, we have a hyper-aggressive game plan, so we're gonna do that later. But for the first run now, let's just set the system prompt to the same, so they have these equal opportunities, and see what kind of model that comes up uh, on top then. So let's just go back to our terminal, and we can just go make run, and that's about it. So let's move this over here now, so you can see now we are starting. So it's just running this now, it's gonna take a bit of time because I think it's actually playing the game and we're gonna watch the recording of the game, right? So we are actually using the both the same characters too, so both are playing as Ken just to get the, the, the playing field even, right? So the only thing that's different is kind of the model. So hopefully the game will start soon. I'm gonna try to blow it up a bit, but sometimes it's a bit slow, right? Okay, so here we go. So let me try to open this a bit. It's a bit of a struggle, but we can, I guess we can just... Do it like this, and yeah, you can see. So I think the green player here is uh, uh, Claude 3, and the yellow play a red player is uh, OpenAI. And yeah, it's quite even. I can see OpenAI is taking a big lead here. ChatGPT 3.5 is pretty good, but I find Haiku also very good. Uh, you can kind of see, I forgot to show you here, but you can see the player moves here are streaming as we are watching, so you can see what kind of moves they make, so that's pretty cool. So it looks like OpenAI is going to win this. So round one by player one. You can kind of see here that uh, player one won, OpenAI 3.5 Turbo, Sam Altman won. <laughs> so that is kind of how you play the game. Uh, but if we do different strategies, uh, we can kind of manipulate and improve this. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so before we do the local model tournament, uh, I just want to show you a bit kind of how I try to change up the playing field here. So you can see uh, ChatGPT kind of crushed uh, Claude in the previous. But now we're gonna do some different strategies here. So what I found out by looking at the game is that OpenAI or the, like the, the default prompt here, uh, if we look at it, it's very aggressive. So the system prompt that came from this project was you're the best and most aggressive street fighter. Your goal is to crush the opponent. And yeah, it's gonna be very aggressive. And it's always going to move forward and try to hit hard. So what I tried to do is create like a counter game plan for this. So let me just show you a quick bit of how I made this. So I kind of went over to Anthropic and Claude 3 Opus. And I just started by pasting in the full code to kind of the, yeah, the robot.py code, right? And I took... Uh, so I am player 2. Here are the results of the last game I lost to player 1. 
and I pasted in all the moves here from the game, right? So you can see that. And I went ahead and asked for, I want to optimize the uh, LLM call to system prompt to beat player one, learn from the match results and create an extreme defensive counter strategy that always beat player one. And we kind of ended up with this strategy here. So you can see it's gonna be an extreme defensive game plan. So consistently use move away to maintain a safe distance, spam fireball and mega fireball to control space and frustrate the opponent. So the idea here is that we will always move back and use fireball to chunk the opponent down. And it's gonna be to frustrate the opponent, it's gonna manage the meter, opportunities punishes. And yeah, basically that is what we are gonna do. So I copied this plan here, and to my surprise, it worked surprisingly well. <laughs> I was very happy with how this turned out. So what we're going to do now is, uh, if we go back here, we're going to grab this, uh, this system prompt here. So that is the extreme defensive game plan. So let's go back here now to Claude, the call at LLM2 that is played by Claude Haiku. And let's change up this system prompt, right? So now we are going to use this extreme defensive game plan and uh, let's run it again and we can kind of see now that this game plan hopefully will be implemented into the game. Okay, so we're just going to do this game full screen, right? And now we just watch Ken on the right here now in the green. You can see he's always moving backwards and he's spamming fireball and that is kind of what we instructed him to do. So he's always trying to keep his distance. And you can see the OpenAI doesn't have any points yet. It hasn't done any damage. So you can see how good this strategy is actually working. So this is what I found really interesting about this. And what I really enjoyed is that you can create different strategies that the LLM will follow. I haven't gotten the perfect game yet. Let's see if we can do it now. Come on. No, he got hit. But he's uh, way ahead. But you can see he doesn't have so much high score. He only has... But he's... Now we kind of switch position again. Is that bad for him? No, he won. So you can see that strategy worked perfect against the aggressive strategy from the uh, OpenAI. So if we take a look here now, you can see player two, Clotri Haiku won by a mile. So that is what I kind of really liked about this. You can use an LLM to kind of look at the results and kind of create counter strategies. So I guess if we pasted in the results from this game, we can kind of do a counter strategy uh, to the other player. So player one could do a strategy against this one. And it's really fun to play around with, really addictive. Uh, but I think that's it for, to na for now. I think we're just going to move on to the local 7B model tournament. On the GitHub page to this project, you can also find how you can install local models. I'm not going to go through how you install Ulama now, but it's very easy to set up. Just find a tutorial on YouTube. And then we just gonna yeah download the model and you can test it and you can just do make local to start the fight. And in the ulama.py file uh, you can just set what kind of models you want to fight against each other here. So very easy to set up. And that is what we are gonna do next. We actually are gonna do the tournament. So our first semi-final is gonna be Google versus Quen. So we're gonna load up Gemma 7B and we're gonna load up Quen 7B. And let's play the first semi-final. So yeah, like I said, here we are. Gemma 7B versus Quen 7B. Uh, Google versus Quen. Yeah, right. Uh, the character is going to be Ken for both. We're going to use the same system prompt. So it's just going to be the model versus the model. Okay, so the red player here is going to be Google. And the green player is going to be Quen 7B. So let's see what happens here. Okay, that's a good start by Gemma, right? Okay, we got both player moving at least. So, I don't know who's gonna win here. I haven't tried these models before, so it's pretty interesting, right? They look kind of slow compared to the... Um, I think the APIs move a bit faster, but we're just gonna let this play out, right? They both have the same strategies. So you can kind of see they are standing waiting. Uh, I am running this on a GPU, so okay, that was a good move by Quen, I guess. But I think it looks looking like Gemma's gonna take this. Oh yes, yeah. I think this is gonna be a Google victory. Yeah, that was kind of crushing to be honest. Okay, so the first round was won by player one and that is gonna be Google, right? 
So you can see player one, uh, Gemma 7B, Google one. Okay, good. And the next semi-final is gonna be between Llama 2 7B and Mistral 7B. And who's gonna meet Google Gemma 7B in the final? So you can see I just set this up to Meta versus Mistral. So player one, that's the red player, is gonna be Llama 2. And Mistral is gonna be the green player. So let's just head over here and do like a make local, right? Okay, so again, so Meta is gonna be the red player and um, yeah, Mistral is gonna be the green player. So I guess let's go then. Okay, so that was the first attack to Mistral. I think Llama is very slow here. That doesn't look too good. It's not doing kind of anything. It's just taking a beating here. That was a bit strange. Okay, now it's actually moving. That was slow though. So I think Mistral is gonna take this, it looks like it at him anyway. Yeah. I think that's just a quicker model, I'm not sure, but Llama 2 is looking a bit slow here, I think. Okay, that was quite good. So we jumped over him. <laughs> now they are not doing anything. <laughs> this was a strange fight. Uh, but it doesn't look... <laughs> that was a miss. Yeah, this was kind of a slow fight, so... From what I've seen so far, I think uh, Gemma is kind of the favorite here. So this is gonna be a crushing victory to Mistral, no doubt about it. But that was kind of disappointing for um, Llama 2, I would say. That was quite bad. So you can see player 2, Llama Mistral 1. And that means that our final is ready. So it's gonna be Gemma versus Mistral 7B. Let's go. Okay, so it's gonna be Google Gemma in the red. And it's gonna miss Mistral in green. So let's go here. Yeah. That's a good start by Google, I would say. Or Gemma. Okay, so we got a comeback here by Mistral. So it's quite even. I was hoping for an even match here. Uh, you can see, okay. They are standing a bit waiting, so I guess the latency is a bit slow, I don't know why, but it could be that I'm using VSL, I'm not quite sure. Uh, okay, so they're trading some fireballs, that's funny. It's quite even. <laughs> it's, I, I, I can see it's a slight lead to Google. Uh, so let's see who gets the next super move. Oh, that missed. Okay. So this could come down to, I think that the one that hits the next super moves are kind of going to win this. No, it looks like it's going to be Google here, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Gemma performed best here in the local 7B competition. So that was pretty cool. I haven't tried Gemma that much, but yeah, that was kind of crushing victory too. I think it performed much better than, it was much more responsive and it followed the instruction a bit better, I think. So yeah. Uh, congratulations to Gemma. So yeah, that is kind of what I wanted to share today. Uh, if you want access to kind of my Claude Tree and Tropic modifier version of this open source project, uh, I'm going to upload that to my community GitHub. So just follow a link in the description and become a member. And so yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. I think you can learn a lot about system prompts. And there's a lot to, to learn about finding out different strategies, what works. Uh, what kind of different models is quick enough. So from my testing, it seems that the faster models are better at playing this game because they can execute uh, uh, faster. So the next thing I'm going to try is to, to use Grok and see how well that performs. So on the screen here, you can see my optimized strategy is crushing ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo again. So that is kind of my highlight from this. I really enjoyed creating this strategy by pasting in uh, by using, you can see, uh, say, LLMs to find the optimal strategy for beating a player, right? So that is something I really enjoy by doing this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Go test it out. And yeah, I'll see you again on Sunday.